My name is Marisa Johnson. I'm the Executive Secretary of the Friends Work Committee for Consultation, which is a Quaker network of um, uh, meetings in, um, in the world. The um, challenge of doing something quite countercultural, uh, you don't often hear the word soul and leadership in the same sentence. So it seemed to me that this was going to be something that um, was breaking some of the preconceptions of what leadership and management should be about. Um, and that's what appealed to me. I think it's made me both more confident and less confident. So I am um, glad that I have learned um, what I have learned and got to know myself better in this process. But I think the more you know, the more we realize how much you don't know, and uh, the more competent you become, the more aware of the areas where competence still needs to be developed. So it is quite an interesting juxtaposition of those two things for me. I have found it very helpful in my, in my organizational work, uh, and I have actually used many of the tools that we have worked with together, um, and. Um, done some of the um, sort of teaching of some of the things I've learned and shared it very widely with my executive committee and indeed with a wider uh, world of friends whenever I've had the opportunity. So I hope that some of that learning is cascading through um, because of what I have learned. So I love Woodbrook. It's uh, a very special place. Any excuse to spend time at Woodbrook I cannot recommend it highly enough. It's a place that has uh, a spirituality um, and uh, a um, comfort all, all of its own. Because we need to have a great deal more soul in everything we do. There should be the soul of politics, there should be the soul of uh, uh, campaigning, there should be the soul of activism as well as the soul of leadership is applicable in so many walks of life and uh, without it um, I'm afraid we are really in danger of not surviving. Anyone that sees themselves in a position of responsibility or leadership or anybody who aspires to such a position and anybody who may have stayed away from such positions because of mistrusting what they mean and what they may do to an individual soul. So I think it's actually quite a wide spectrum of people. And I think it should be an absolute must for anyone working in a religious setting, and particularly in a Quaker setting. So I hope that, um, uh, in particular, the leadership of uh, Quaker organizations uh, will take this as a very important uh, development program for their staff. I was uh, fortunate enough to be able to invest some of my own resources in it and I was given some uh, time off um, by my organisation and uh, some um, financial support to participate. But it seems to me that it is uh, a basic requirement of uh, equality that uh, the opportunity should be made available to those who might not be as fortunate as uh, I have been. I would say to anybody who is considering this that uh, uh, they should not think too hard about it and should follow instinct and intuition um, it's, and be prepared to go places they had not expected to go to.